With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. This is Red Lantern Russell from Tomes of Evil. And you're listening to Sector 2814, a Green Lantern podcast. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. In brightest day. In blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern podcast. I am Phil. Join me, as always, Master of the Core, it is. I am Will. Hey, everyone. Man. Don't turn on. Don't turn it off yet. Uh, no Macona. No little Hellfire. It's, yeah, it's, it's just us again. So, the just us, the just us league, league. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> just us, not league. <laughs> I I saw that dad joke coming up the street. I saw. Uh, I know it was coming from a mile away. Very very well uh, choreographed from a distance, right? <laughs> so yes, tonight we're going to be covering Green Lantern Flash number one and. Flash Green Lantern. I don't know if it's number one, number two, but it's a two-issue series. That's right. Don't know why they didn't make it. I, no, I'm not even going to go there. It's just insane. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. I think I, I have this. And I, I mean, it didn't really matter, but I think I kind of see why, but I don't know. Yeah. But we got a lot of news to talk about. Uh, so where should we start on our DC podcast? Oh, hey, if you're if you caught a, are you current on Moon Knight? Yes, I am. Yes. So loved the uh, Mr. Knight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, "Put on." He said, "He said suits." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I look pretty good. <laughs> oh, and in honor of tonight, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, did you see? It's pretty cool. Like, there's like a uh, QR thing you can scan in episode one, and it takes you to his first appearance in Werewolf by. It gives you like a digital comic Werewolf by Night thirty two. Oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, and then I think episode two, there's another one, and it takes you to 33, which, you know, it was a two-part story, so. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. Is that through the Marvel Unlimited or Comixology? I didn't scan it, but I, I you know, I, but I just saw that, yeah, they were like, hey, you scan it. I don't know if it, I don't know if you need a Marvel app or something, but yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. That's kind of cool. I haven't, I don't think I've read his first appearance. I may mm. have read some... I think I remember reading his Acts of Vengeance crossover. Mark Spector, Moon Knight. Yeah, and then I remember... West, any West Coast Avengers? Yeah, the West Coast Avengers, the Lost in Space Time mm. was was pretty good. Yeah. No, it's, oh, it's so funny. Yeah, that first Werewolf by Night, you know, they they bring him in to be a villain. You, you know, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the evil committee brings him in to take down uh, the werewolf, and then... I don't know. I guess somebody was like, "Hey, let's get this guy his own book as a hero," you know. So then, Mench, you know, Doug Mench is just like, "Oh yeah, he was just undercover trying to bring down the committee." Yeah. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> and again, you could still be a hero. Be like, "Yeah, I was taking down a werewolf." How you know how how evil could I be? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and Mark Spector, mercenary. Sorry, not Moon Knight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So yes. Contrary to popular belief, yes, he is an original character. It does not uh, reflect any other character. Batman, my favorite <laughs> character. <laughs> I will not stand for that slander, Ray. That's right. <laughs> I love Batman. Settle down. <laughs> That's right. I was going to say, eh, it's DC. There's a chance he might hear this, but, you know. He's not going to hear this. <laughs> it's not Batman. He might hear this. I don't know. Oh, did um did I tell you? I guess the, yeah, they finally got DC Universe Infinite down there. Yeah, is he? Did he? Uh, did I be- he I know he at first he said he was going to try the trial, but I believe he signed up. So yeah, awesome. So we may once uh, the euphoria and lots of work 
that he's doing right now because of Moon Knight. Oh yeah, there's a T. Yes, the, yes, the the series plus the monthly comic, and then it, uh, Moon Knight's getting. I think it's at least four issues of mini, one of those black, white, and blood mini series. So mm-hmm. coming soon. So yes. So once things settle down a little bit, maybe we can expect some feedback from uh, from our buddy Ray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should tell him to listen to this one because I guess he said him and Finn have been uh, looking into some Flash stuff. I don't know if they're both getting into Flash. So, yeah, it's uh, you know it's hard to say. You know where where do you start with Flash? You know, if you have DC Infinite, you could read some of the Barry Allen stuff. Yeah, some uh, some of the Barry Allen stuff's good. Um, I I, I always tell her. Yeah, I always say you know if. if if you don't want to read like a ton of stuff, I'm like, start with Wade's stuff, you know, Mark Wade's yeah, stuff. Exactly. Cause mm-hmm. he even starts his run with, you know, like a year one Wally West story. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's, and then he was on there. And then after he left, there were some fill ins for a while. And then Jeff Johns had a really good run on the flash as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I was saying that. Uh, yeah. And then of course there's uh, you know, flashpoint and, in the Flash series. <laughs> I guess they were in a hurry, but I'm always like, I'm surprised they brought Barry Allen back in 2009. I'm like, if they had waited two years, they could have just waited for New 52 and be like, oh, hey, Barry's back. <laughs> well, but he kind of caused it. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I, I can't. I don't like that he caused Flashpoint. You know what they should have had? They should have had reverse Flash, like cause Flashpoint, and then it's like that kind of brings barry back and he was like you know i was you know i was in heaven you brought you brought me back you sop <laughs> yeah you know and as much as i love uh green lantern rebirth mm. flash rebirth just didn't hit hit as well with me i i haven't read it in, since it came out i need to probably reread it but i just don't remember being as as enthralled with it as i was with green lantern rebirth well again it's like you know barry causes you know rewrites the whole timeline and stuff and then he doesn't come off well yeah at least with green lantern rebirth you know they they write how pretty heroic you know mm-hmm. especially with the end of the last page of what is that issue three or four when he's just like gets his gets his ring back and Sine- you know telling sinestro stand get away from my friends <laughs> yeah <laughs> like throttling up an f-16 <laughs> decking batman yeah even there's some great lines and we're gonna get to them next year <laughs> yes but you know where he yeah, you know, Sinestro says never challenge anyone more powerful than you, and you know Hal's like ah, that's not going to work for me, <laughs> and has never worked for him. Has it? <laughs> I know. Uh, but uh, Green Lantern news. Oh yes, uh, the well, are you talking about the round robin stuff? I, we've got lots of news, so let's hit it, man. <laughs> all right. So, oh wait, yes, all right, kids. Yes, uh, breaking Green Lantern news. Uh, we don't get this all the time. That's right, especially in the last four months. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the, the, the Round Robin, remember we said there was two Green Lantern series. We're down to four, and uh, one of them is in there. We got, uh, what, I'm pulling this up now. Uh, Constantine and the Demon, Vacation from Hell, Suicide Squad Dark, Superboy the Man of Tomorrow, and Green Lantern, Light at the End of Forever. That's the John right. Stewart one, right? Yeah, that's uh, with I think the the writer is Cy Spurrier, if I remember that right, and yeah. then the art just is Marco Santucci, who's been doing the art on the uh, the current run of Green Lantern. So yeah, so it'll sure look gorgeous. Yeah, so this round, yeah, Constantine and the Demon goes up against Suicide Squad, and uh, it's uh, Green Lantern versus Superboy. So we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a little bummed that the other Green Lantern book didn't make it because it was pretty interesting as well. Yeah, um, Golden Age Green Lantern, and then uh, Sky. Patridge, I'm probably mispronouncing her name. Uh, she's kind of an coming up and coming artist who's got a really nice style and really good. So, oh, and then uh, what are you talking about the uh, the other article I sent you a couple of days ago? Is that like actual news or is that just speculation? It's like, hey, it's- I don't, I don't know. I was like, okay, so another uh, John Stewart and the Emerald Knights was that the name of it? Yeah, it's saying yes, you know, supposedly at DC. Sometime in 2022, I'm assuming after Death of Justice League will bring us John Stewart and the Emerald Knights, which you know that could be cool. I'm, I, is it gonna? Was it gonna be by uh, Thorn and as the writer? I th- I believe it's uh wait uh bu- 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 
because I know he loves John Stewart and he writes a really good John Stewart. Yeah, supposedly Bleeding Cool is saying, yeah, we're going to be getting John Stewart and the Emerald Knight spinning out of the current Green Lantern series. Uh, it's saying currently, yeah, it's written by Jeffrey Thorne. Uh, lists John Stewart as the Emerald Knight on the cover, but it seems there will be more to come. Potentially, such a series might replace Green Lantern after the upcoming Death of the Justice League, with John Stewart taking over the lead Green Lantern series going forward, but that would be speculation. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of missing, you know, Guy and, and Kyle and, and Kilowog and Salak and Hal. <laughs> yeah, like I, yeah, I think I said this before, but I'm like, why don't we just like for at least for a while forget the concept of oh hey, so and so is like headlining the Green Lantern book and just do it's, like a Green Lantern core book. Yeah, exactly, that would be awesome. Give everyone their cake, you know. Yeah, and then if uh, and then also bring back Cat Matui. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you know if if a storyline you know makes it necessary, then maybe they spin it off for you know a, a maxi series or maybe even an ongoing for whatever character is you know yeah needs that extra focus. Or you want to do like an extra something with somebody? Yeah, you spin off you know how into a mini series or Kyle mm -hmm. or Jessica or any of them. Yeah, yeah, or Simon or anybody. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, we have so many lanterns. It's yeah, so on. awesome. But let's build the brand back up before that series starts on HBO Max, whenever that is. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Will, um, did you see? I guess Monday, The Batman will be on HBO Max. I did not know that. Yeah, awesome. Monday, April 19th uh, or 18th, whatever that date, whatever the date is. Yeah, Monday. That seems pretty quick. I know. Well, so, well you're saying 45 days after it came out, and it came out to get, like the first week of March, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think originally it's supposed to be Tuesday, and then they moved it back to Monday. So I'm wondering if they're like, oh, hey, a lot of people might be off Monday after Easter. So, oh, OK, <laughs> maybe that's Batman a, for you. And then might, maybe Easter they're like Batman. I mean, they're like, oh, hey, people might be home. Kids might be home from school. And, you know, so, hey, maybe we'll get uh -huh. some uh, streaming numbers up. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so Green Lantern series is still in the hunt or a limited series is still in the hunt for yes. the DC Round Robin. We may get a John Stewart and the Emerald Knight series coming later in 2022. Yeah, like I said, we're probably going to have to get past that Death of the Justice League crap, you know, because John's technically going to be dead. Yeah, and Dark Crisis is... Yeah. Looks like Hal's kind of front and center in Dark Crisis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Hal, yeah. Like like I said, any, any like promotional art with a Green Lantern on it seems most of the time it seems like it's Hal, so... Mm -hmm. And then they just put they put up like a two page spread today from I guess Dark Crisis number two. I guess there's going to be a big uh, Nightwing Deathstroke fight. So I saw something. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the Nightwing. Do you know anybody that likes Nightwing? Uh yeah. <laughs> Me and Kristen, you fool. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. So I'm you know I'm assuming yeah on the bat side Nightwing's going to have to be stepping up, and I guess Pal's going to be stepping up on the Green Lantern side. Well, I mean. With with as big as the action has been mm -hmm. in the current Green Lantern series, it's really been kind of insular, right? You know, we, yeah. we've just seen what's basically going on on Oa and the Dark Sector, and the rest we don't we don't know what else is going on elsewhere. Well, that's you know, like with my cosmic books. Like, I like some of the co like space stuff, but sometimes I I will I would like them to spend half the time on Earth because yeah, because I mean. All this has been taking place in space, so it's mostly been segregated from the rest of the DC stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, okay, okay. Yeah, and I don't think we've heard anything more about the Green Lantern core series on HBO. Uh -uh. But it's no supposed dates to be this year, maybe, or is it early next year? I don't know. Did they even re release like a, in any? I don't know. I may have just been reading some rumors. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't heard anything about. Yeah, I don't know if they've even gone that far to say, oh, hey, sometime in 2022. I mean, the cast guy Gardner, we know that. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember, did they shoot in? Did they, is there anything that said they shot anything yet? Or No, but there was uh, somebody that was working on it, we think, said that his work was done and maybe it was pre production or something. I don't know. Uh, let me see. I see it. There's an article here from March 25th. Uh, uh, bah, bah, bah. I don't know. Uh... I wonder if they're. I mean, uh, it's just, I don't think it would affect the, the uh, H. You know, the Green Lantern uh, show on HBO Max. But did you? I, that Snyderverse is coming apart at the seams. I mean, <laughs> I'd be surprised if the Flash movie comes out. Cause, I mean, they pushed that to 2023 now. But did you see Ezra Miller's in all kinds of trouble? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll get some help. 
Um, yes. Well, that well, he goes. Well, they go by they now. So, but yeah, they. Right. Yeah. They. Yeah. Will get some help. Hopefully. Yeah. And again, I would just like to see Grant. Just, just throw Grant Gustin in there. He's he's had like eight years of of practice playing the Flash. Come on. He's kind of good at it, right? Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I like him. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, besides John Wesley Ship, who else has had practice playing live action Flash? Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Um. Oh, tomorrow. It's a good day. Well, Green Lantern 12 comes out. That's why it's a good day. I know. I'll Although have... I won't get mine for another couple of weeks, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll have to let you know. I wonder, I wonder if they'll do something weird like, you know, they'll end on a cliffhanger or if it'll be like John Blake. Oh, hey, I have to go hook up with the Justice League, you know, and then they'll be like, hey, <laughs> read Death of the Justice League. I, I'm really feeling like that has to take place before all this Dark Sector stuff. You know, it's just so. He is, it's I know it's so weird because yeah, cause he's a, like like it seems like he's rocking some massive power now. So exactly, I'm like, how could they kill him or like imprison him or do whatever they're gonna do with them? It's like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's. I mean, I guess we'll see. Yeah, but uh, I'm. I'm getting. I'm looking forward to Hal's appearance in World's Finest coming up. That's yes, what number four or number three? I thought I saw. I thought this solicit said number four. Well. Again, one well, kid, stay tuned for Unlimited Justice episode 16. Uh, me, Will, and I think Kristen are going to talk to uh, Mr. Mark Wade about the, the Batman Superman world's finest. So you can ask him himself, Will. Okay, we can do that. Ask him I'm yourself, totally yes. <laughs> I, of course, love Hal Jordan. When is he going to be in this book? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, I, I'm still not sold on Dark Crisis. I don't know. I'm, I may have to wait and see and have you let me know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's all, you know, it's a bunch of, oh, hey, look, the big guns are gone. Everyone else is going to have to step up, you know. Yeah. Who's writing? Who's, who's the artist? Uh, I think it's Joshua Williamson who's doing like half of DC's book trading right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be consistent then, right? I, 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 I could double check that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Joshua Williamson who's doing all this stuff. Man, yeah, some of these poor people, man, they make them write like 50 books and it's just, I mean, good. They're probably getting paid, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, crazy. Boy, I thought I, I could have swore a couple years ago we had a final crisis, but oh, and an infinite crisis. Oh, <laughs> uh, but what was that? Was that the promise? They're never going to end, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Did it go infinite then final or final then? I think it went. It was infinite then final. So okay, yeah. I, I. But again, that was all before New Fifty Two. So I guess they're like, oh, we start over. <laughs> so we've had crisis on infinite Earth, uh, so. zero hour, a crisis in time, uh, infinite crisis. Final Crisis, now Dark Crisis. Am I missing a crisis somewhere? I saw, was there something besides Infinite Crisis and Final Crisis? Uh, bu- 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 bu. I can't remember. I, swear that I thought there was something somewhere, but I can't remember. Uh, bu- bu- bu. Yeah, Joshua Williamson's writing uh, Dark Crisis. Okay. I don't know if I've read anything by him. <laughs> um, I know he was writing Flash for a while. Um I don't remember is that him writing the uh, Batman stuff right now with Shadow Warren stuff? Uh, but yeah, he he's all over. He's doing a bunch of books. So cool. Uh, bu- 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 yeah, like the like the current Batman stuff he's writing right now. Uh, but then did you see? I guess with Batman one twenty five, Chip Zdarsky's taking over. I saw something about that. Yeah, I'm subscribed to his newsletter, and it's like, oh hey, I'm gonna be writing Batman. And I think he's still <laughs> gonna be writing Daredevil. So I'm like. Eh. <laughs> I know it's ra- if it have if it's happened it's rare but I'm like have we ever had someone write two high profile characters from the opposite sides at the same time before? Maybe even somebody who's a friend of the show, perhaps. Oh, no, oh, who, who, who? Who could that be? Uh, at the same time, you know, like Silver Surfer and Green Lantern. Oh, <laughs> this is Ron Mars. You are listening yes. to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I can I completely blanked. How I'm. Oh, there, forget that. And you know, I was uh, we we just did we get to the issue? I think we got to the issue of the main series where the crossover between Green Lantern and Silver Surfer is in continuity. Oh yeah, on the DC side because they referred to it in the regular title. So oh yeah, because I think it was in Parallax <laughs> Emerald Night, wasn't it? Where he was just like, yeah. I've chased him through two through two universes. It's like <laughs> cool. But uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if uh, Chip could get a batman daredevil crossover that'd be kind of cool right i know that well that's what i told Lilith. i said it would be i mean it would be perfect timing the guy's writing both books i mean mm-hmm. it would be easy you know what i said you know you, they want to push units you know what they do 
don't make it a special thing. Do it between the two monthly books. The monthly book that just happens, yeah. <laughs> Part one and Batman whatever. Part two, you got to flip over to Marvel and get Daredevil number whatever. Can you imagine? Oh, the, that would be insane because they'd both have to be able to reprint it as part of the collections of each series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's too much logistics and stuff. Yeah, they would never happen. But I mean, that would be the that would be the first time because you know every other crossover they've ever done has been you know its own self contained little thing usually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know a Moon Knight and Ray's favorite character crossover might be pretty cool too. Oh god, can you imagine <laughs> Batman, my favorite character? <sighs> can you imagine? I that would I mind would be blown right then. Just a- I don't know. And, and, and I don't know. I've always said before. What about like Deadpool and Harley Quinn, or what about Deadpool and Deathstroke? <laughs> yeah, yeah Dead, Deadpool, Harley Quinn would be bonkers. Mm-hmm. Totally bonkers. <laughs> oh yeah, they're our Green Lantern. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I was so mad. What book was that? Um, was it Fantastic Four? The uh, I think last week the Guardians of the Galaxy showed up. No Quasar. Neither one of them. <laughs> Neither one of them. It was like the, it was part of the reckoning war. Yeah, yeah. Like just a bunch of. I think it was both, mostly just like you know, like uh, Star Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket. Yeah, like that. The movie ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember any of the other ones, but yeah, neither of the Quasars was there. I'm like, oh, come on. Not even Phyla or no. Neither one. Or Dragon not even, or not one panel of Quasar. Either one of them. <laughs> any of them. I'm like, come on. I thought the, I thought our I thought our pal Al was going to. Uh, you know, not leave us hanging with that story. Well, it's not even Al writing it's uh it's it was in Fantastic Four, so that's uh dirty Dan slot, so oh, dirty Dan. I did Dirty Slot, that. yeah. <laughs> oh god. All right. So should we get to the issues? I mean what are, what are, what do we what do you think we're doing tonight, Guy Gardner? Come on, we're already like uh, apparently. In. <laughs> uh all right, I I was gonna say, not even like synopses, more like solicits almost. So I'll read these, then we can like go through the issues because again there's only two tonight kids but uh mm-hmm. yeah the fir- double size issues too. yeah it's true true but uh first one green lantern flash faster friends number one just says 1997 doesn't give me a month all right so this one okay this is why i think that you know they made this one green lantern flash and the one flash green lantern the writer on this one friend of the show mr ron mars this That's is ron right. mars you are listening the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Jeez, I knew they switched, but like five pencilers on this issue. Yeah, and we have some pretty amazing ones, though. I know. Ron Lim. Yeah. Uh, Jeff uh, Johnson. Uh, Bart Sears, Andy Smith, Jeff Johnson, Ron Lim, and Tom Grindberg. Nice. Uh, two inkers, Mark Pennington and Bill Anderson, colorist John Calise, letterer Chris Eliopoulos, and editor Kevin Dooley. Uh, all right. So here's the, the brief, quick ass list of kids. Circa 50 years ago, Jay Garrick and Alan Scott fought a villain named Alien X. The government... <laughs> sounds like a 40s thing. The government took custody of the creature and obliged oblig- the two heroes to declare in public that the alien was only a sort of movie marketing to keep the real story a secret. Now Alien X is free to cause havoc. Uh... I have to update that synopsis a little bit. What? Uh, that was more like 80 years ago at this point. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Not 50 years ago. <laughs> well, I think, it was, I think it's 50 from 1997. From, yeah, 97, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, and again, of course, it says, you know, during this time, Alan Scott internalized the star heart and was calling himself Sentinel, so... Mm-hmm. Okay, Except did you... He calls himself Green Lantern at the very beginning. <laughs> I know, true. Hey, did you ever watch the show Lost? Yes. Okay, I never watched it because it's saying here this issue and the polar bear encountered by Cal Rayner are referenced early in the first season of the TV series Lost. There was a polar bear in the first season of Lost, but I don't think they're referencing. It's just a polar bear showing up. I mean, okay, in it's Lost a, it's just weird. Here it's just okay because it's, it, it's saying this issue and the polar bear. So did they mention anything about an ish comic issue or specifically no, this one? No, not not that I remember. Hmm. All right, kids, uh, write in and prove the old man's memory wrong. But I feel like Lost was basically a bunch of writers just throwing stuff at the wall to see what would stick. And uh, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. What the heck? What was that? <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're getting spam. Trying to. Huh, oh, I got. gotcha. 
But uh, so yeah, so let's get into this this issue. Will what do you what did you think? Um, I thought it's pretty good. I mean, oh yeah, you know Kyle was on point. I mean Ron Mars was writing it, so of course Kyle's on point. Um, <laughs> the uh, I don't know Wally. We didn't have a lot of Wally in there, but you know they were their normal antagonistic. Yeah. Well, to each other. Well, I guess too. It's kind of like Green Lanterns. It's supposed to be Green Lanterns issue, kind of, sort of. Yeah, and then um, I was a little concerned. I was a little confused at the end because I thought the whole ship went nuclear and blew up. But then they oh go come back on, that's a comic book trope. Well, it's just you know. Yeah, I know, but I was like, because they were worried about Kyle. It's just a nuclear explosion. He's a Green Lantern. Yeah. So this is a Tuesday, right? So <laughs> I guess, but it's it's just you know it just seems like it's just like oh, like you know it's a comic book trope. I guess it wasn't as destroyed as we thought it was. <laughs> like not at all, because they run around turning everything back on. So <laughs> I know. Do you think that was kind of like a? Uh, it's like oh hey, how are we going to extend this to another issue? Oh well, I guess well, Alien X left the booby trappers. I feel like I mean. The structure was that, you know, we deal with Alien X, but then in issue one and then issue two, we have to deal with whatever Alien X unleashed, you know, during his death or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, we got some, I don't, I still don't understand. Well, we'll get into issue two later. So. We'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, this is a little bunch of setup. It's like, you know, Jay and Alan and, you know, how they encountered this alien and it's like. And Jay is sick. Oh yes, yes, he's mm-hmm. supposedly dying. Yes, and just a lot of um, you know, it's like, oh hey, this for this friendship they've had over these decades, they hated each other at first. Sorry, <laughs> wasn't that a big? Re- it doesn't seem like yeah, yeah. They're just like yeah, we really didn't want to work. The you know the the government kind of forced us to work together. We didn't want to work together, and you know because Cal because Cal and Wally are so antagonistic, and it's like oh no, we were never we weren't friends right off the bat. We had to work at it. So do you think so? Do you think they're saying uh, Cal and Wally are like more similar to Jay and Alan than they than they were to like Barry and Hal? I uh, yeah, and you know I thought it was funny because you know they didn't really have either of their real mentors there. Yeah, you know, so both of the Silver Age versions of them were gone. You know, removed from the table. Yeah, supposedly both dead at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so they jumped back and used you know. The Golden Age versions, and which is fine. You know, Wade had been using, you know, Jay, and then also Max Mercury. You know, in uh, oh yeah, in the the main Flash book. I don't know. I don't know where we are in the Flash around this this time in '97. I don't know what issue was. You know, what he was. Um, yeah, he'd already done the Zero issue, so I don't know how far along past that he was. Yeah, I was gonna say they really didn't give us what like a. Uh... They really didn't say I'm, is there, I didn't see any month on this, and the synopsis thing didn't even like give me a month. So no, but it did say that they were in the Justice. Uh, I think Kyle yeah, said, yeah, "Yeah, we're in the Justice League together." So I guess this takes place post JLA number one. Um, well, yeah, I think it's mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's why I kind of put it this week. Yeah, because I, <laughs> you know how far in, but uh, okay, January nineteen ninety seven was Flash uh, one twenty one. Okay, it's like Wally's protecting that. Uh, this uh, politician is is this when Morrison was writing it or was because I know we, uh, Mark Wade took a about a year away from the Flash and then came back. Yeah, here let me look this up here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh no no no, Mark Wade's still on this. Okay, it may have been later. Yeah, it's saying or earlier. Yeah, well, yeah, because one twenty one saying Wade and uh, Brian Augustine. So mm-hmm. you know, um, and. It, there's really nothing, at least that that I see in the series, that changes the status quo of either title, really. You know, yeah. It's kind of so completely self-contained, and maybe they'll tr- be nicer to each other the next time <laughs> they meet. Uh, who knows, right? But uh, you know, they introduce Jay's sickness, and then it's dealt with. You know. Oh, the next dish. Yeah, I, yeah. It's like nothing's gonna uh, come out of here that's gonna really affect the main series, mm-hmm. except maybe they're like closer friends. That's about it. I think that was the whole purpose of this series. Well, besides making money, it's just like, oh, hey, you know, these guys are like maybe not the best of friends now, but they're getting there. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel sorry for Alien X, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess he wasn't a threat before, but just years. Yeah, because like what those government guys were experimenting on him and then he started that, you know, 
They killed him. Some disease. Yeah, <laughs> they gave him some disease. He's dying, so now he's all mad. But yeah, that is weird that uh, Alan calls himself Green Lantern. Well, I guess they're... It's the Green Lantern issue of the cross... Of the issue, of Just the so people are like, theory. hey, yeah. these are the first ones, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Alien X comes and takes out Alan and Jay, but Jay's able to leave a note, so... Of course, <laughs> of course Alan's wife calls Kyle, and, and Jay's wife wa- calls Wally, calls yes. Wally, that's right. <laughs> Yes, yeah, because you see him talking on the phone at the same time. But of course, Wally gets there. <laughs> Wally gets the Joan first. <laughs> well, he is the Flash. The fastest man alive. <laughs> His name is Wally West. He is the fastest man alive. That's right. <laughs> I think he said that a few times in his book. I don't. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think Wade slipped that in there. You know, Wade, Wade created that. Yeah, he did it a few times. Yeah, like, like every issue. <laughs> I know. So. Yeah, and then they get the whole flashback as the wives are telling them about the whole Alien X thing and Alan and Jay. You know, they're having trouble with Alien X until they, you know, work together. <laughs> but yeah, then the government was all like, oh, we have to say it was like a thing for a, uh, you know, it was a horror movie. Mm-hmm. But Alan and Jay did hide his spaceship, though, mm-hmm. which looks like In a literal the- flying saucer. In the Arctic. I know, man. <laughs> getting crowded up there fortress of solitude uh flying saucers absolutely oh no i know then the government saying what uh oh weather balloon uh it was a weather balloon and the the light of venus and some swamp gas (laughs) sorry i'm just quoting it in black now (laughs) yeah but i did find that interesting especially in the present day here where you know I forget if it was Joan or Molly who was like, yeah, you know, it was the 40s. Back then, pe- you know, people just trusted their government and trusted whatever they told them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is true. Uh, yeah, then Molly telling uh, Cal, it's like, yeah, hell, you know, please go find them. But you don't have to go alone. Then you get that two page of uh, <laughs> yeah. Kyle and Wally streaking uh, along. Which I think is that that was by Ron Lim, I think. I think so. Yeah. That, yeah, it that looks like Ron Lim. That totally looks like Lim. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, <clears throat> and Wally, and, you know, Kyle's just like, you know, of all the people to be stuck with, <laughs> this guy again. <laughs> you know, well, again, you, you know, I think he said it before, but he says it a different way every time. But you know, Kyle's problem is basically just like, oh hey, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't get, I haven't had my power since I was 12. You know, yeah, exactly. I, I'm sorry, I haven't been a superhero since I was in diapers. <laughs> And Wally's just like, yeah. And Wally's just like, it's like you won the lottery. You just got like handed the ring. Yeah. <laughs> mm, what Green Lantern soda? Soda Funko? Yeah. Soda Funko. Soda Funko. No, I've not. I've seen it, but I've not got it yet. Do they have? I'm sure they do. They do they have glow in the dark Green Lantern? Uh, any glow in the dark? They do. Funkos? Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I think I've got. Cause I was gonna say I saw I saw it tonight they have like an Iron Man one. I'm like they gotta have like a uh, Green Lantern one. And I know we're talking DC, but uh, Disney, we need a glow in the dark Quasar Funko. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Do a set, man. Do like, you know, put Wendell in there. Put, uh, you could put Phyla and Avril in there. Pfft, hell, put put G- put uh, Marvel and Gina Spell in there. Come on. There you go. Yeah, just be a nice, cool set. Collectors, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, there's a link. I'll, uh. I'm okay. not on my regular laptop. I'm not on my laptop. Yeah, you can so, send. Uh, yeah, I can send. There, there's whatever. a link I'll send to you that has kind of the Green Lantern Funko checklist, and I think there is one that's that's glow in the dark. Oh wait, uh, they do, but good luck finding it. It's from 2018. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. All the nerds are spending their all the nerds are spending their money on the uh, Moon Knight. They're giving up in price. Hey, we've got John Stewart right there. Oh yeah, ice and Kilowog guy and Chip. Yeah, I need some Green Lantern Funkos. I just have the Kyle and Hal next to the rings over there. It's like regular figures, not the... Uh, mm-hmm. I need Funkos. <laughs> Funkos. Um, oh, by the way, this weekend, hmm. I'm going to go on a tangent. Um, I watched uh, Green Lantern First Flight, Ooh. the animated movie, and uh, Emerald Knight. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I should do. Those were... They weren't bad. Emerald Knights, you know, a dot was kind of a... They adapted, you know, Mogo doesn't socialize, and they had, you know, it was some vignettes of different Green Lanterns. Um, you know, they they were they were solid, but nothing has nothing mm. compares to Green Lantern in the animated series. It's so freaking awesome. 
I know. That, you know what? I have a few. I have Friday and Monday off. I should watch. I was at first. I was like, should I watch those animated movies? But no, I should. If I have time, I should watch the animated series because I think that's on HBO Max. No, it is. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. look! I thought that was like Russell or somebody uh, lurking in the comments. I looked it up. I see you, little Hellfire. <laughs> Hi, little. <Lilith. laughs> <laughs> and you're absolutely right. Friend. Animated for Green Lantern is way superior to anything live action. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So far, definitely. Uh, yes. Friend of the show. Yes. La- if you don't believe us, listen to last week's show, kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I thought that was Russell. Or, you know, when you said nerds, Lil, I thought that was like Russell or something for a second. Or Noel Tate. Uh Oh, you don't want to know the things I've done. Yeah, I know the fun. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I know the Funko should have gave it away. Where's our what the Funko feedback, Lil? We haven't yeah. gotten one since that first one. <laughs> hey, you have power over Will. Look, you sent us that one review. Look, it's sitting behind him. Look now. at that. Now I've got Funkos all over the place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So see, plausible deniability, Will. When you sit, you know, when your wife yells at you, you'd be like, "Oh, well, Lil has like uh, almost two hundred Funkos." Uh, this is just four, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I say anytime Danielle yells at me. I'm like, well, because she knows Lilith. I'm like, well, it's Lilith's fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yes, you should definitely watch the animated series, and then we can geek out about it next week. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to try to watch at least a few. Yeah, like I said, I have a few extra days off this weekend. You know, it's it's so disappointing because of what could have been. Mm-hmm. I mean, they got Red Lanterns. They got an Orange Lantern. Mm-hmm. We hadn't got to Sinestro Corps yet. But we had a Blue Lantern and we had the Star Sapphire. So other stuff was coming. There was even a, uh, let's see, toward the, the last few episodes, I think there was a book about the Blackest Night up on one of the Guardian shelves or something. So that was, they were kind of, you know, maybe planning for that. And of, been, and of course, best of all, who was the green, who was the main Green Lantern in the series? I, of course, love how Jordan. That's right. That, that, didn't, hurt. that didn't hurt. <laughs> guy Gardner was in there, and he was pretty darn awesome because he was nice guy guy. <laughs> nice guy guy. Nice guy guy. But yes, it didn't hurt that the main uh, human Green Lantern was. I, of course, love how Jordan. But we got to see Chip. We got to see Salak. We got to see Kilowog. Kilowog I, of course, love how Jordan. <laughs> and I, of course, love how Jordan. <laughs> Uh, that's like you, that's like, well, I mean, you don't deny it, but you know, not, not like Ray and his Batman yeah. fetish. Batman, my favorite character. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, like you said, I mean, it seems like they, well, well they thwart whatever scheme of alien X's there is, except he sends a signal into space. Exactly. And he blows up his ship. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's the polar bear. Uh, but yeah, when they find uh, Alan and Jay, yeah, they've been taken. They're been being mentally controlled by Alien X, and they have to beat up on some old guys. <laughs> I know. Why? Why kind of? Why kind of like it? It's like Wally versus Alan, and then you get like Kyle versus Jay. But yeah, Jay's, you know, since he's dying, you know, mm-hmm. starts hacking up a lung, <laughs> and Wally's like, "What did you do to him?" <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> mm, yeah, they go after Alien X, and he's like, "No, you ain't taking me alive, kid." That's right. I'm gonna blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> yeah, they all think well, Kyle blew up with the ship, but ring, ring, <laughs> green lantern ring. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the end. It looks like uh, yeah, Alien X blows himself up with the ship. But so I mean, I get kind of what they were doing. They they gave you a it's a two part series, but they structured it so that you get pretty much a complete story with yeah. the first issue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could pretty much almost read one or the other. Yeah, and again, I think, you know, Ron Mars wrote this one. I think Wade wrote the second one. So it's like yeah. the Green Lantern writer did one, the Flash writer did the other one, yeah. Yeah. Which, that, I mean, that's a that's a pretty nice story, you know, Mars and Wade, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, so should we jump to the second issue? You bet. All right. Uh, let me... All right, so this, of course, this one, Flash Green Lantern, Faster Friends. This one says volume one, number one. All right. And uh, we have a comment, uh, friend of the show, Ron Mars. Oh, well, <laughs> we're, we, we already did that little hellfire, but I can do it again. This is Ron Mars. You are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Yes, we already did that, but. Uh, and we're the lunatics part of that, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. You got to talk to Lilith. <laughs> Lilith claims the. Uh, Lunatics. <laughs> you can be on her team. All right, but yeah, this this the uh, 
the Flash issue written uh, by other friend of the show, Mark Wade. Hi, this is Mark Wade, and you're listening to the Capes and the Lunatics podcast. Boom! Nice. <laughs> uh, pen- oh, only one penciler this time, Val Simix. You know, and I think that, I feel like that helped this, this yeah. there was a lot more cohesive yeah. in the visuals than, than the Green Lantern one, so I think that was a good thing. Yeah, because it's like there was a lot of good pencilers on the first issue, but sometimes it takes me out, even if they're all excellent pencilers, it's like the style you shifts. You the style like, change yeah. and go, whoa, hey, what? Oh, okay. Especially like if you jump from like a Ron Lim to like a Tom Grindberg, and, and it's just like good pencilers, but the styles are different. It's just like, yeah. Lanterns don't wear capes, so obviously you're lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Alan Scott would like to have a word with you, ma'am. <laughs> He's not Green Lantern. His name is Sentinel. Well, at this point, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Inker Chip Wallace, colorist Ian Laughlin, and letterer Albert the Guzman. And there's, I don't see an editor, so no one wanted credit. I don't know. Uh, Unless it was the same editor. Uh, Oh, wait. Oh, this one might be a little longer synopsis. Uh, Jay Garrick, the original Flash, is dying from a hypermetabolism disease and will be dead in a day. (sighs) You know how many times they said that about Will's Hellfire and she was just hung over? I'm kidding, Lilith. <laughs> uh, Flash, Wally, and Green Lantern, Cal, Sentinel, Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern, and Jay have defeated Alien X, an old foe of Alan and Jay. Alien X opens up, well, it says opens up, but I think he already set it in motion before his death, opens up portals on Earth to let alien creatures devour the Earth. At Alien X's ship, a portal opens to the alien's home world, and Flash and Green Lantern leap through, followed by Jay and Alan. Flash and Green Lantern fl- find that they have switched costumes going through the portal, but the mess is soon sorted out, and the four heroes confront the alien swarm's mother. All right, before I finish it, yeah, that's I love I love that little gag. Yeah, like, none of they switch costumes, but Wally thinks he's Kyle, and Kyle thinks he's Wally. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> Kyle's like, "Where the hell's my super speed?" <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's I'm like, did when Kyle got his ring back on his body, and did he just? flip everything back or were they still mixed up or oh i think i didn't they start to remember even before he got the ring back i know when he got the ring back yeah. he, he used it to switch their costumes yeah <laughs> it's like give me my stuff back uh <laughs> the heroes fight the alien swarm and the dying jay convinces the alien mother not to do what she's doing and the mother leaves yeah, yeah she's a mother uh but makes four <laughs> portals for the heroes to return home Alan and Jay leap through the same portal, hoping that Alan's health and magic energy will mingle with Jay to cure him. Oh, he fought it. He's like, I'm not going to, you know, what if I end up giving you the disease? And Yeah, your kid could kill you. So, yeah. But no. Nope. about it. Alan, so they raced to that portal, but Alan got through. And yep, Jay is magically cured. Uh, the four heroes end up back on Earth where Jay and Alan are both given clean bills of health. Jay tells Wally and Cal that Flashes and Green Lanterns are meant to be friends, and they'll figure it out soon. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, again, magical cure all at the end, but it's like, so why didn't Alan and Jay switch costumes and stuff? I don't, I don't know. Magic, like yeah. Oh, well, Alan is kind of rocking magic, so I, that's yeah. that's the only thing I can think of. It's like, okay, maybe out the Star Heart, maybe I don't know, or maybe they did and we didn't see them switch back. True. After they, eat. I don't know. It would have been funny if they they went through that portal. Not only is Jay cured, but Jay is young now, and and uh, Alan got became old again. <laughs> yeah, uh, it sounds like an episode of Quantum Leap, to be honest. According to, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Lilith, add that to the list of stuff we, uh, of shows we have to podcast about. I was reading that they're trying to do a reboot. Or yeah, something. For Quantum Leap, yeah, yeah, I think they're they are trying to do a reboot with a new character. I mean, I don't know if I don't know if there's any talks about maybe bringing Scott Bakula back, even just for like a one off. But why didn't you just do this with Dean Stockwell was alive? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because it wasn't the age of the reboot yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No. All right. So thoughts on this issue, William? Um, I don't know. I think the the single artist really helped kind of unify it a lot more. Yeah. Um. And it was kind of just like basically you, you got a, mi- a straightforward mission. The last one, it was a lot of setup. You know, it's like, who is Alien X? We got the flashbacks. And it's like, we got to go find Alan and Jay before we can fight Alien X. And This one was more straightforward, but yeah. I I don't necessarily quite understand why the Queen, because Jay showed her that 
cancer is bad or okay. I, I, she left and then left them portals home. I mean, it, I don't know. It was the goodness I, I, of it was the goodness of Jay Garrick that got through to her. Come on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you know, she was hypnotized by that shiny helmet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, it was a good issue. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a Mark Wade. Of course it is. Yeah, exactly. So, and again, um, and again, everyone. I mean, for the most part, everyone's at least in their own respective books is written because you know yeah. it's the regular writers. You know, because so mm-hmm. of course Ron Mars was going to write the lanterns in character, and Wade yeah. wrote the flashes in character. Yeah, yeah. It was and the it, hard water. <laughs> 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 yes, Loth. Oh, we cut like a week or two ago. We covered the Secret Origin where they went over Al uh, Jay's. Uh, well, we did Alan and Jay's origin, but yeah, Jay's is just funny, man. He like hit, that hard water hard hits water. him. He goes into a coma, I think, for what was it? Well, a few weeks. The minute he wakes up, man, he tells Joan like five minutes after he wakes up, he tells her, "Oh yeah, look, I got super speak." <laughs> <laughs> Better marry her. <laughs> nice. I know. Literally, he's just like, "Oh hey, look, I got speed." Oh hey, there's Joan. Let me go tell her. I gotta go tell her I've got super speed. I'm the Flash. <laughs> and then she wants him like to win the big get football game for them or whatever. And you know, me and Loth were just like, okay, so how many people ripped off Jay's origin? Like Smallville, uh, <laughs> Cy- Cyborg's origin, and uh, the Snyder stuff. Oh, we're like, everyone ripped Jay Garrick off. <laughs> All Flash comics. Is that like 1941 or 1942? <sighs> I think was it 40? Maybe 40. I think it might be 40 uh yeah it's either 40 or 41 yeah i'm trying to remember it was four because i think i think super superman was 38 batman was 39 and then i think there was a whole ton of them i think most of the justice society was 40 maybe even wonder woman yeah maybe but uh okay uh here i'll look that up now all flash oh wait i hope i can spell all flash comics number one uh yeah ninth january 1940 <laughs> wow very cool so, Boy. yes, <laughs> yes, Lil, if I just found it, thank you. It's probably, it's probably the delay. <laughs> nice. <sighs> All right. So, uh, so this issue was Flash Green Lantern Faster Friends number one or number two? Like I said, uh, every other place I've seen, they, they've each said number one. But I think on the DC Infinite app, it says like one and two. So two. maybe just so it comes up mm-hmm. back to back. But. Yeah, every other place besides the app I've seen it, they've li- listed them as both number ones. So both number ones, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, and these are, aren't they uh, prestige bound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I yeah. do have, I do have the, uh, yeah, the hard copies. Yeah, it's yeah, the, the, the two issue prestige, like you said, a little thicker and mm-hmm. like double sized issues, I guess, like forty to sixty pages, something like that. Because I was gonna say, I wonder why they didn't like do this in the main book and make it like a, you know, like. Two issues of Green Lantern, two issues of Flash, and you know, yeah. Well, they had just crossed over, just uh, yeah. quote there. They had just crossed over, not you know during the the Neuron stuff, right? Oh, yeah. um, uh, yeah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> we just what covered that? that. We just read that, man. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, uh but, but I was gonna say, but we also did. You know, I wonder if they're coming out of Final Night. They're just like you know everything crossed just. Cross they were final night. Uh, That's true. So I think that it's. I true. think at some point they were just like. It might have been ninety seven two, but I thought I remembered there was some point. Was it only on a Batman book or something? They're like, oh yeah, we promise no more crossovers for at least a year. <laughs> Modern nice. comics would never hollow hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean one one cross. I mean these days one event can't end before the next one's firing up. Exactly. I mean it's kind of nuts. All right. Underworld Unleashed. There we go. That's what it was. <laughs> Remember? And then we just had a crossover with Green Arrow, too. Yes. Yes, yes. I wonder if they were just like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. I just did Green Arrow. I mean, yeah, we did the Green Arrow. And we all, you know, there was like two issues in between. But then we jumped in the uh, final night. and Yeah, and right before that, you had the whole thing with um, Dark Side Sun. Which oh, is- Graven or Graven. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and they and you know what seventy one through seventy three we did all those team up books, and so maybe we're just like yeah no 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 more team ups for a while. No more team ups for a while. We're uh, gonna just uh, yeah there was it was a sixty four Green Lantern sixty four sorry sixty six. Um, 
Oh, yeah, the, the, the oh yeah, because uh, Flash. Uh, or, oh Flash yeah, the two issues Flash shows up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, but he's in sixty six and sixty seven. Yeah. And again, too, you do the prestige. It, you know, you put out more books and you make a little extra money too. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. And and need the money. you know, gimme, gimme. That's right. <laughs> Plus, you know, those are being self contained like it is. Yeah, probably a longer shelf life. Long, you know, because you can just sell it. And, and yeah, because it, it's it doesn't really affect you know, the main book. Yeah, like I so. said, Jay's cured, and yeah. Mm-hmm. It really didn't affect continuity at all. Yep, absolutely. <sighs> but I thought it was a good series. Again, M- uh, Ron Mars, Mark Wade, mm-hmm. Friends of the show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So should I pull up the schedule for next week? You bet. I think we get back to the main title, don't we? Uh, let me double check, but I believe we do. I believe... Uh... On open there we go uh yeah next week that's right uh green lantern 83 through 86 so we will get the fatality arc and i believe 86 is when cal comes back and jade's in his apartment so uh yeah so 83 and 86 next week and then in two weeks uh green lantern 87 through 90 so we're approaching emerald knights that's very right. quickly that's right <laughs> <laughs> although we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that william because uh the last week of june is going to be uh, Green Lantern 97 through 99 because Emerald Knight starts at 100. But then remember, summer of 69 starts in July, so that's going to be that's all right. those older. But it will be Hal Jordan, so. That's true. Some older Hal Jordan. Yeah, what what, are, what issues of summer of 69 are we doing? Uh, basically, uh, that first series, Green Lantern 66 through 74. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I did sneak in because I believe 74 was like the January of the next of 70, but uh, the story was kind of continued. So, so yeah, so yeah. go ahead, throw it in. <laughs> and 75 is the issue before <gasps> our yes. traveling hero starts in 76. Oh, <laughs> we might have to throw in 75. Isn't that oregano? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> I might have to throw, we might have to throw that in that last week of 69. Oh. reference to that. Yeah, go ahead, throw it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to change the schedule. Yes, <laughs> instead of two issues that week, we have to cover three just so we can get the oregano. We've talked about it enough. Yeah. We'll so yeah. To see it. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, what is that? Emerald Knights will start. Yeah, the first week of August. So. Awesome. That's uh, 100 through 106. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because we'll cover that all in one week. So yeah. Very cool. If how if one how Jordan wasn't enough for you, how about two? <laughs> <laughs> is that not enough let's go for three <laughs> uh, uh, man we are we are booking it i know that's what i said once you clear those dark stars and guy gardeners man it's gonna fly because uh we'll get to uh day of judgment uh two weeks in uh september so Night- nightmare fuel <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah how jordan in hell your worst nightmare <laughs> purgatory purgatory oh Along yes parallax. yes 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 <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to, oh, blah, blah, blah. I know I've looked this up before. I don't know why I never remember. Oh, because we'll we'll jump into that Spectre series. Uh, towards the end of November, yeah. The Spectre, okay. we'll start covering some Spectre, yeah. Nice. Oh, and, we're all, and there's also a uh, interview coming up with Mr. J.M.D. Mateus, if you would like to join us. And, uh, yeah, it's maybe sneak in some. <laughs> I'll have to try to read ahead before then. But, yeah, well, maybe we can ask yeah. him some Spectre <laughs> questions. That, that was like a 20-issue series? Something like that. Oh, man. I just closed the thing, but yeah, it's. I think it's might be like twenty some issues. Was it? Was it twenty four? Uh, let me look at that real quick. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that was the number that was in my head, but uh, I mean, I mean, we're old men. I mean, we've already talked about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here, and that would have been. Hold on, I want this series. Who's going to get there first? Yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hey. 2001 to 2003, it was 27 issues. Oh, that's right. And it probably only came to it. Probably only came to an end because Rebirth was coming. Uh, yeah, because Rebirth came in what late 2004, and this <sighs> ended in 2003. So, so I wonder if they were starting in the plan. Or it's like, oh, hey, yeah, in the next year or so, we're going to bring him back. How Jordan? Cool. That's a good question that we can ask. Hey, why did it end? <laughs> 
I, I'm, no, yeah. No. <laughs> well, no, I'm pretty sure because I think that that was one of was that one of Jeff Johns's things. Like he wanted to bring back all those, uh, you know, classic versions. Right so yeah, so I think Hal Jordan was the first stop. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, good on him. Superboy ripping people's arms off though. That's <laughs> what was that? Infinite Crisis. I don't know. He did it several times. It was just like what he did. It was just his thing. I know they made him a total <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those 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 late two thousands before New Fifty Two hit. Yeah, I mean, like Superboy Prime and Jason Todd just like went off the rails, <laughs> like way off the rails. <laughs> at least at least Jason Todd didn't have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just Batman training. <laughs> oh, well, yes, we we all love the Batman training. Batman, my right. favorite character. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, so good. We done? Good stuff coming up. All right. That's right. So Green Lantern 83 through 86. uh, So email us your thoughts, kids. Capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can follow uh, Sector2814 on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, Join the Green Lantern fan group on Facebook. Uh, and again, every episode we do gets a uh, video on YouTube. So, again, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Smash it! And most important, uh, Patreon. If you can, please subscribe to the Patreon. Once again, we're not millionaires or backed by cosmic beings, little blue cosmic beings. So, yes, uh, every little bit helps, but 3 to $5 gets you uh, early access to creator interviews. Uh, Mr. DG Chichester talks to me and Lilith every month. I got the good mic out for you guys. And superhero movie brackets, uh, the April episode coming soon. It'll be the three Marvel finalists that will be battling out. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to the worst Marvel movie, and then we'll start the DC uh, crap fest. Uh. <sighs> You're a strong man. Phil. I wanted to strong stop man. at Lil Hellfire. So, yes, kids, superhero movie brackets, because Lil Hellfire demanded it. <laughs> uh so wait She's for a strong the, woman. I was gonna say, wait for the delay to, uh, because <laughs> I'm gonna see, you're gonna see a comment down there and be like, "Damn straight" or something. So yeah, so uh, please subscribe to the Patreon or uh, pick yourself up some Capes and Lunatics or Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks merch. So find everything at Linktree l i n k t r dot e e slash Capes and Lunatics. And of course, hopefully we'll get our friend Matt Kona back soon. But until then. Follow him everywhere on social media, uh, at Matt Kona, M-A-T-T-K-O-N-A. One of the funniest mans, funniest men in the business, and... Duck it, uh, Miller. There you go, Lil. <laughs> See you later, bunkies. All right. William Allred, master of the core, master of the quantum zone, master of the Kickstarter comics like Crossover Division. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me at Walred. That's at W A L L R E D. Uh, Gmail and Twitter and Facebook and probably other social media that I don't remember setting up. Um, you can also find um, my uh, comics that have been published, uh, Crossover Division at crossoverdivision.com. Um, and you can find uh, Diary of Night at diaryofnight.com. Uh, also, you uh, like. Oh, wait. Um, I also do a podcast with uh, writer Kevin Joseph uh, called Explain Yourself, where we, as Kickstarter creators, talk to other Kickstarter creators who have live campaigns running and just uh, have them, I don't know, explain themselves. And finally, uh, you obviously have great taste in Cosmic Heroes, so you probably love Quasar. So uh, if you want to find out more information about Quasar, you can check out the Quantum Zone at quantumzone.org. Seems like I'm getting a package every other day. Hey, boys, you look at the party? I love the party. It's because Will and Lilith has started loving this drop too. He gives me his bone. I just love it. <laughs> I know Lil Hellfire's been calling for that now too. I'm like, poor Macona. That's like the new uh, I love Batman. <laughs> My favorite character. Uh. <laughs> Alright, kids, thank you for joining us again next week. Green Lantern 83 through 86. And again, keep an eye on that uh, Unlimited Justice uh, little that I do because, yeah, in the next ish, was it, probably episode 16 and 17 we're going to have Mark Wade and then JMD Mateus, so. Nice. You could be both. Well, I know you're going to be there for Wade, uh, Will, but you could be there for JMD Mateus. It's going to be at noon! So, you want to be when? a Saturday, I'll, I'll tell you, but. Yeah, let me, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Set your alarm for 11.50, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, kids. Come back next time. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Good night. I am Connor from the House of L. And I am Ray from the House of Zod. We are two of the many, many survivors of Krypton's destruction, and we have made our home in Australia, and dare I say have become Australians, for better or worse. But we have also decided to read Superman comics, uh, read Superman books, watch Superman shows, cartoons, movies, basically everything Superman, and from an Australian perspective as well. Whether you're a seasoned fan, like me, or whether you are coming in fresh, wide-eyed, and wanting to learn more like me, then this podcast is for you. Join us for our bi-weekly adventures available on all good podcast catches. So just search for Last Sons of Krypton, a Superman podcast. We'll be coming to you from Australia or some cosmic dimension, wherever we are that week. Up, 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 up and, and away! away.